Hey there, everybody. This is uh, John Hanks. Today we'll be learning about the Spider Interactive Development Environment, also called an IDE. The objective is really just to give you an overview of how the tool works and why it's important. So we won't be doing anything very complex. It's just to, to kind of get you grounded. First off, on the on the left side here is the editor where you'll be writing your lines of code, and you can see the, the line numbers. And not always in the default setting are those are those listed. So you can go up under um, view or tools, here it is, preference, and then you could select the preferences. And here's all the different uh, preferences. I like to see the line numbers so I can refer to them. Um, here's the editor and then show line numbers, for example. So a lot of details in here uh, about preferences. We won't go over all of them, but I selected that one. And then also for appearance, I like to use a custom way that each of the functions and the different types of objects that are used in programming look. I have a little bit of color blindness, so I changed the color. So you can do that under appearance as well. So that's that's something simple to get started, just to know that the preferences are there. So this editor is where you will write your code. And in, in the standard view within Spider, and you can change all these views. I'm going to use this one because it's the standard view, and all of you already have that set up. In the right uh, lower hand corner, uh, you, you have really what's called the Interactive Python Console. So when we run a program and we say print, it will print to the console. And here's an area where we have all of our variables. And this is a nice thing because you can see the values of the variables and not have to print them out uh, in your programming language. So let's do something real quick. I'll, I'll start with the kind of the standard hello world. So let's just type in message uh, equals hello world. And then I'll do something simple, print the message. Okay. And if I run this and here's the green run button, we can see that down below in our console, hello world was printed out. And then up in the um, uh, variable explorer, we can see that we have the variable printed out. Now, if I type, if I double click on that, I can see the message, the variable message has the, the string hello world. Okay. So that's, that's very simple. And notice across the top here, I have I have really three different programs that I've loaded up. The one that we're working on is Untitled One. And then I have a very, very simple program that I'm going to run. It has a few lines of code. And, it, and what it's going to do is import a, a, a module called random. And we're going to assign that module of the prefix rand. And then when we use the functions that are within rand, uh, we will add that prefix. And for example, in this function, I want to uh, output a random integer. Now notice when I hover over the function rand int, it gives me the help within the editor. I can do that within the editor or in the console. So actually developing this code is not important. The results of it's really what I'd like to show. So let me run that very quickly. And we can see now our variable explorer has updated. So the variable a has the values one, two, three, four, and then it actually lists out, lists out the type of variable. It's a list variable. And we're going to go into list in a lot of detail in the future. Here's an integer, an int, it's b count on down the list and rand is a module and plt plot is a part of the matplotlib which is really the the tool that we'll be using to plot data out now what this program does is takes the a list one two three four and creates a plot so if we go under plots in the uh, the, the variable explorer pane the plots pane we can see that it just output a linear one, two, three, four plot. Very, very simple. In addition, I've got a couple of commands here. Print the length of A. And the length of A is, and A once again is one, two, three, four. It output the value four. And then I asked B, assigned B. And assignment is a programming word. It's B, whatever's on the left hand, is left hand side of the equal sign is assigned. Um, the value of what's on the right hand side. So use my rand import rand uh, module and I will use the function rand int and I want to and its parameters a and b which uh, basically says output a value that's random a random integer between 1 and 20 assign that to b and then below I took another variable in this case a string called message the random number is equals and I said print the message plus my variable B. So um, this was a very quick introduction to Spider and show you how to use the tools. We'll have most of our assignment and a lot of my lectures I'll be giving will be in this environment. And the next video will be on manipulating strings. I encourage you to follow along and load up the 
uh, snippets uh, and code so that you can walk through these examples step by step with me and we'll quickly learn the fundamentals and then go on to building uh, projects later in the semester. Until next time.